Hey guys, I'm Kimberly from the Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube, and today I'm gonna show you how you can use beads to accent your cross stitching. Today I'm using Mill Hill Seed Beads, and I'm gonna show you how I attach beads to my projects. So to start, I'm going to have one thread. You're gonna to wanna to use a thread that matches the color of beads that you use, and you want to add the beads at the very end and make sure you've already ironed your project and you're ready to go ahead and frame it. So I'm gonna use a stink, I'm gonna use one strand, double it up to where it creates two using the loop method. And you're gonna to wanna to use either a size 28 needle or a beading needle. So I've got it threaded and I've got a loop at the end and today I'm using Mill Hill Glass Seed Bead Minis and I like these because they're nice and small and I'm going to be adding a little bead to the top of each of my wreaths. So we're going to do three beads today. So I'll start, I'll show you how you start and how you end. So the first thing you do is just open your beads and I'm going to leave these on the table. And I'll just put one in my hand. So I've got one. You're going to do this after all of your cross stitch is complete. So I'm, I want to add one to this, this little X right here. Right to this little center piece. So I'm going to pull my thread up. Put my needle through my bead. Cross over and do an X. So it's like you're doing another cross stitch on top, pull through the back, pull the needle through the loop, and get it nice and taut, turn it back over, go back through like you're doing another cross stitch. So the other way, go down to the bottom, go up to the top, and instead of putting your needle through there, I'm just going to go into the hole first pull it down, and then I'm gonna split my threads, put it around the bead, and pull down. And that keeps it nice and flat so that your bead is not cockeyed. And you want it to be taut. So from there, I'm gonna maybe just put my needle through a couple of stitches so it stays nice. So, done. Now I want to add another bead down here. So again, I'm going to go back down, pretend I'm doing a cross stitch, come up like you normally would, put a bead on your needle, pull it down, make your first half X, pull it down nice and taut, Come back up like you were gonna do another stitch. Go back through your hole, not through the bead. When you get there, split your threads. Split those threads right around that bead and pull it down. And it's hard to see just because I'm using pink, but I don't want, um, to see the thread, I'm gonna go back through and just kind of anchor it a little bit. Go back down, I'm gonna do it one last time. Just come up like you would to do a half stitch. Put the bead on your needle. Push the needle down. Make your half stitch right on top of your previous stitch. Come back through like you're going to finish the half stitch. Your needle doesn't go through the bead at this point. You just go back like you're finishing a cross stitch and then get these threads to go around your bead so that one of your threads is on the left and one is on the right. 
pull it down. It's nice, your beads aren't gonna move around. They're nice and flat. To finish off, I would anchor it first. Pull it taut. And then just go through a couple of previous stitches. Cut your thread and your beads are not going to move around. They're nice and pretty. Mm -hmm.